Good evening, everyone. Well, we have a very nice finish to what was a spectacular day across the tri-state area. The temperature was at 80 degrees earlier this afternoon in Central Park, and we reached that number at about 1.15 p.m. That's a little bit below our normal high temperature of 84 degrees. This morning, we start off with a comfortable 69. The record on the state, 102 degrees. That's hot, and that was back in 1944. Right now, we're at a comfortable 75 degrees in Central Park, 76 as you're reading out towards Newark. We're at 71 in Iceland up at 75 in Bridgeport, and we're finding 72 up in Poughkeepsie. Now, all these temperatures are running a little bit cooler than they were at this time yesterday, and our dew points are reflecting that refreshingly dry air that moved in yesterday and stayed with us all day long today. We're going to expect comfortable conditions once again as we go into tomorrow, and right now our winds are nice and light, and they should stay that way for the rest of the evening. Now, much is happening on the radar across the immediate tri-state area, but off to the north here, we did get clipped with a couple of spotty showers across Sullivan and Ulster counties, and also northern portions of Dutchess County, too. A couple of clouds seeping in across parts of the Hudson Valley in northwest New Jersey. But other than that, it's going to be quiet for the rest of the evening here. We're going with mostly clear conditions. Those rain showers to the north are going to push into New England, and things will be left much drier across much of the region here as we move into tomorrow morning as well. Tomorrow, we will start off with plenty of sunshine. High pressure is actually going to nose its way in here from the west and dominate our weather pattern for the day. We're going to be watching closely, for though, for the development of a system out to the west. Out, uh, uh, out in the Atlantic that could churn up our ocean waters over the next couple of days. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Right now, let's talk about tonight. We're going mostly clear. We'll start off with plenty of sunshine as we go into our Monday morning. There'll be some clouds decorating the sky towards the afternoon, and there could be a sprinkle off to the north with a wave of energy that's going to pass through during the afternoon hours. And then tomorrow, we'll go mostly clear again. High pressure continues to be our dominant weather feature as we move into the week here. But in the afternoon, we will have the threat of some clouds rolling in, and they're actually could be a couple of spotty showers across portions of New Jersey as we go into Tuesday night. Wednesday, we'll do it again. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, and overall, we're expecting a relatively quiet weather pattern as we go into the majority of the week here, or at least the remainder of this coming week. It's over towards the weekend that we're going to keep an eye on this system that's currently developing out in the Atlantic. This is forecast to be our next tropical system. It'll be named Ernesto when it does develop into a tropical storm. It is also expected to take a turn to the north and bypass the United States. However, it'll run adjacent to the eastern seaboard, and that could really kick up our wave heights along our area beaches by next weekend. So we'll be watching that all week and monitor how it will affect the tri-state area by then. In the meantime, tonight, nice and quiet with a low of 66 in the city. Tomorrow, we'll below average yet again with a high of 80 degrees. If you're planning to go to the beach tomorrow, go for it. It'll be a decent day. The rip current risk will be better tomorrow. It'll be low. Today, it was moderate, and we'll have a 7 on the UV index. We stay in the 80s as we go through the week here, and it's going to be relatively quiet with just an isolated shower chance by Tuesday. A real substantial rain doesn't get here until Friday afternoon, and that's when we'll see a threat of scattered showers. But overall, a really nice week ahead. Looks great, Trooper. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Now to the Summer Games and a new twist to the controversy involving American gymnast Jordan Childs at the Paris Olympics. U.S. Olympic officials say they will appeal a court ruling that resulted in Childs being stripped of her bronze medal in the floor exercise yesterday. A court ruled that an appeal by Childs' as coach during last week's competition which resulted in her winning the bronze, came four seconds after the time limit for scoring inquiries. Today, the International Olympic Committee confirmed Childs would have to return her medal, and it will be awarded to a Romanian gymnast. Coming up, a look ahead at some stories on the calendar, including how you could spend next weekend with some celebrities at the Javits Center. Stay tuned.